हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल So hello everyone. Now in this video, I'm going to start from sum number 17. This is the last part from this exercise. For the previous one, please check the description box. The link will be there. You can also visit our website. Uh, the link of the website is in the description box. So here in sum number 17, in an entrance test that is graded on the basis of two examination, the probability of an randomly chosen student passing the first examination is 0.8, and the probability of passing the second examination is 0.7 the probability of passing at least one of them is 0.95 suppose here the passing a student okay let a be the event that the chosen student passing the first examination okay i repeat a be the event that the chosen student passing the first examination and that is here 0.8 is clear now the next one B, B, the event that the chosen student passing the second examination. So here P B equal to 0.7. Now the probability of passing at least one of the examination. So at least one that means here A union B. That one equal to 0.95. Now find the probability of passing at uh, sorry. What is the probability of passing both? So passing both means you have to find out here A intersection B. It's very easy. You know the formula: P A 0.8 plus P B 0.7 minus union 0.95, and your answer here 0.55. It's very easy. Now sum number 18. In sum number 18, the probability that the student will pass the final examination in both English and Hindi that is 0.5. Okay, both English and Hindi. So suppose here E for English and H for Hindi. So here the intersection equal to 0.5. The probability of passing neither is 0.1. Neither means complement. So here you can write down E complement, then intersection H complement. That one equal to here 0.1. If the probability of passing the English examination, so that means here P E. P E equal to 0.75. What is the probability of passing the Hindi examination? Okay, that means here you have to find out P H. So as here uh, the intersection, intersection between E complement and H complement, that one equal to 0.1. So you can also write down this one as P. Then here E union H complement. Okay, that one equal to 0.1. You can also write down this one as One minus P E union H, okay? E union H. That one equal to here zero point one. Now for E union H, you can write down this one as one minus in third bracket here P E plus P H then minus P E intersection H. That one equal to here zero point one. Now put down the value of here P E that is here 0.75. There here P H and here the intersection is 0.5. That one equal to 0.1. Now from this equation you can easily find out here P H equal to here P H 0.65. So 0.65 that is your final answer. Now next one sum number 19. in a certain city the probability of not reading the morning newspaper by the resident is half okay so here suppose a be the event so here a complement okay a complement equal to half that means here p a equal to 1 minus half equal to half and of not reading the evening newspaper that one equal to 2.5 sorry 2 by 5 So suppose here B complement, B be the event, so that one equal to here two by five. So P B equal to one minus two by five, that one equal to here three by five. 
Now find the probability that the resident reads either the morning or evening or both the paper. So that means here you have to find out P A union B. So P A union B, you know the formula. So half plus 3 by 5 minus 1 by 5. That means the intersection. Okay. And here the intersection is 1 by 5. Okay. P A intersection B that one equal to 1 by 5. It's given. So that one equal to here 9 by 10. So 9 by 10 is your final answer. Now next one some number 20. Some number 20 here for a post three person A, B, C appear the interview. The probability of A being selected is twice that of B and the probability of B being selected is thrice that of C. Okay. So suppose here E1 for event for the A. Okay. Let E1 be the event for A. E2 event for B and E3 that is event for C. So here first one P E1 that one equal to 2 P E2 according to the problem. And here the probability of the second one that one equal to 3 the probability of the third one. So here P E1 equal to you can write down 2 into 3 sorry it's P E3. So that one equal to here 6 P E3. Okay. So now you know that the total probability always 1. So P E1, E2 and then E3 that one equal to here 1. So here 6 P E3 plus 3 P E3 plus P E3 that one equal to 1. So 10 P E3 equal to 1. So P E3 equal to 1 by 10. Now if P3 equal to 1 by 10, then P E2 equal to 3 by 10. It's very easy. And P E1 equal to here 6 by 10. Okay. 6 by 10, that means 3 by 5. Now if the post is filled, then what are the probabilities of A, B, and C? for uh, A, B and C being selected. So here the required probability of the candidate A that is 3 by 5, the required probability for candidate B that is 3 by 10 and the last one here the required probability for candidate C that is 1 by 10. Okay, so your answer here 3 by 5, 3 by 10 and 1 by 10. Now next one some number 21. In sum number 21, here the probability that the student will get A, B, C or D grade are 0 0.4. So, write down here 0 0.4, then here 0 0.35, next 0 0.15 and 0 0.1 respectively. Find the probability that C will get B or C grade and number 2 at most C grade. Okay. So here for the first one, the required probability that C will get for B or C, okay, B or C, so your answer will be here 0 0.35 plus 0 0.15 because you have to find out the addition of getting the grade of B and getting grade of C. So the probability that is 0 0.35 plus 0 0.15, that is here 0 0.50. It's your first answer. And the number two. The required probability that C will get at most grade C. So your answer here at most grade C that means here 0 0.15 plus 0 0.1 that is 0 0.25. Okay, 0 0.25 that is your answer. Now next one some number 22. Now next one some number 22. Two cards are drawn at random from a pack of 52 cards. What is probability that the cards are either both ace or both black cards? Okay. So first here, let A be the event that both drawn cards are ace. And B be the event that both drawn cards are black cards. So 
total number of ways of drawing two cards from 52 cards are 52 c2 you know that now the number of ways of drawing two ace card so how many ace cards are there total four so four c2 out of four you have to draw two so that means here p a p a equal to here four c2 divided by 52 c2 okay now for the next one the number of ways of drawing two black cards that is 60 26 c2 okay 26 c2 because to have 26 black cards so now p b equal to here 26 c2 divided by 52 c2 so here a intersection okay so a intersection b that one equal to write down here 2 c2 and divided by 52 c2 so now find out the union so p a union b that one equal to you know that p a so value of p a equal to 4 c2 divided by 52 c2 then p b equal to 26 c2 then 52 c2 and intersection here 2 c2 divided by 52 c2 okay so here in denominator write down here 52 into 51 divided by 2 here 4 into 3 by 2 then here 26 into 25 by 2 minus 1 and your final answer will be here 55 by 2 to 1 okay 55 by 2 to 1 is your answer now the last one sum number 30 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in sum number 30 in a group of 20 boys and 10 girls okay 20 boys and 10 girls five boys and three girls are honest if two person are selected at random from the group find the probability that either both are girls or both are honest so first here let a be the event that both selected person are girls and b be the event that both selected person are honest now the total number of ways of selecting two person from 20 boys and 10 girls that is here 30 c2 okay because 20 plus 10 is 30 out of 30 i have to choose only two so the number of ways of selecting two girls out of 10 girl that is here 10 c2 so for the first event p a equal to as same as the previous one 10 c2 by 30 c2 now the number of ways for selecting two honest person out of eight person that is here 8 c2 so for the next event p b that is here 8 c2 divided by 30 c2 and here the intersection p intersection b that one equal to here 3 c2 by 30 c2 okay 3 c2 by 30 c2 so now you have to find out here the union as same as the previous one so just put down the value 10 c2 here 30 c2 then 8 c2 again 30 c2 then here 3 c2 and next 30 c2 so here 30 c2 so 30 into 29 into 28 and here 2 into 28 factorial then here 10 into 9 into 8 factorial divided by 2 into 8 factorial then here 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 2 into 6 factorial minus 3 so 6 factorial 8 factorial cancel out 28 factorial cancel out so your final answer here 14 by 87 okay 14 by 87 